currently, because we are agriculture and um, in rural areas, uh, we're ha having some good growth opportunity with um, school buses and uh, being able to work with uh, uh, rural school districts to uh, continue to develop. Um, a lot of them will add one or two buses at a time and we help them uh, get the uh, bus structure set up, the uh, filling station, and uh, then being able to, we've seen um, if they've started with one or two um, within the next year, they're adding a couple more, and we've got several school districts that are up to 15, 20 buses even, and that's, that's a lot for small rural areas. I, I went into this business knowing not much about it. I thought I was gonna have a filling station and I'm gonna run the business as it is because it's been in business for 20 plus years, the station that I bought. Uh, once I got in, I started learning about how can I grow this because there's a lot of potential. Uh, there's a lot of potential in growing my existing business. How can I get more gallons out of, out of what I have? Because I have capacity to do that. Um, now I'm looking at uh, deliveries, starting deliveries. Uh, which could be exchange bottles or get a bobtail and go fill residential um, homes uh, to do that. Um, so the sky is the limit for this business because there's so much, there's auto gas opportunity, which I didn't realize all this before I bought the business, but now I'm, I'm looking at avenues of uh, exchanges, deliveries, auto gas, um, and also uh, opening up a few more of these stations in, in, in Dallas area? Well, as I was a bulk truck driver, um, the management company uh, always encouraged you to talk to customers and um, just relate with people with deliveries. So I stopped into uh, a business. I ended up talking to them, and next thing you know, uh, I had them signed up for a customer in the future, which was a huge account for Thermotain Propane. So I just like interacting with people, um, getting to know somebody and offering them good service.